Hello, welcome to our series on SAP S4 HANA Financial Accounting and Controlling. In this video, we are going to look at assets under construction. Just as its name implies, it's an asset that is not fully completed, but is undergoing construction. For instance, the building of an office complex. So from the foundation to the roofing, to the laying of the owner of the blocks to the final completion can be recorded or put on an asset under construction. So when the asset is fully completed, then it is moved to its final assets, which is the building. So for instance, um, a company wants to build an office complex, it creates its asset under construction and puts all the costs from the foundation to the finishing under the construction. Afterwards, it needs to settle it to its final asset. So specifically for today, we are going to look at how we can settle this asset under construction to its final asset. To do that, first and foremost, we need to define the distribution rules. Distribution rules simply refers to all the parameters that needs to be set in place to enable the settlement. So parameters like the where you are settling the asset to, whether you are settling it the AUC to, whether you are settling to a, an asset or a cost center, um, you specify the particular assets. Then finally, um, whether you are settling the whole thing or a part of the asset. So we start with the distribution rules, click define distribution rules. So here we have our company code already defaulted. We want to use the 1710. And with the asset to we could drop down to click the asset. In this case, we want to choose this particular AUC, foundation of office complex. And afterwards we click execute. So here we have the line items. So we want to set up the very first one. We select it. After selecting, we click enter to enter the distribution rules. In the maintain settlement rule overview screen, we have first and foremost the account assignment category. We choose the drop down. Yes, accent should we are we settling to a cost center or fixed asset? Choose an asset and settlement receiver. Which asset are we settling to? So we choose the specific asset. In this case, we are settling it to the office complex building. Then here we have the percentage. How many, how many or how which percentage do you want to settle? Do you want to settle everything or a part of it? In this scenario, we want to settle everything. So we choose hundred percent. After which we press enter. And we click back so here we see that um, the status is green which means the parameters have been set or the rules have been set so now we click save to save our distribution rules it says distribution rules saved so after saving or completing the distribution rules we go to our settlement so we go back it says do you want to leave the line item display Say yes. And we are back to our home screen. We now want to execute the settlement. We click execute settlement. So in the AUC settlement screen, initial screen, we have our company code defaulted. We have the AUC also defaulted. We now have date specifications. Yeah, document date is already for defaulted, but we are supposed to choose in the asset value date. In this case, we still want to use the same date when it's fixed, 25 May 2020. Then we put in our text. So here we see settlement. Of AUC.
the final complex. Press enter and you click on simulate to simulate your settlement. So it is showing that um, AUC or the asset is being settled from this AUC to its final asset. You click back and you now execute your settlement. So our assets have been settled from our AUC to our office equipment. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you in our next video.